Hello, good morning. My name is Alan Twig and I'm the author of And Suddenly Everything Changed. Um, I'm, I'm here in Tenerife and this video today will be about habits. Um, I want to talk about the way that habits prevent us from making changes, but in particular, <clears throat> our eating meat and dairy is actually uh, a very strong habit. So before I continue, I'd like to remind you, please, um, I'm new to this, so I'm, I'm hoping to, to, um, to make a contribution. Um, so if you like this video or don't like it or would like to add a comment, which would be very much appreciated, please do so below. Okay, so before I became vegan, I didn't realize how my eating habits were being driven more from habit than from choice. I'd got to a point in my life where every single meal would involve meat. I would have meat at breakfast. So for breakfast, I would typically have a continental breakfast, a European continental breakfast, and it would typically be bread. But I would usually use um, have some sort of pate, a meat pate, something with meat in it to spread on the bread. Lunchtime always involved meat, whether it was a tuna sandwich or a ham sandwich or or, or, or something, but virtually always with meat. <laughs> and if it wasn't meat, with cheese. Uh, and then in the evenings, uh, I would also have a meal. And of course, as we mentioned yesterday, no meal is complete without meat. Um, that's what I used to think anyway. I remember at the time thinking, uh, I don't know if any of you have ever had this feeling, but I used to think that actually food was a little bit boring, that it was always the same things. It was always either you had pork, you had chicken, you had turkey, you had tuna, you had cheese, one of those things with something else. And that was basically what food was. <laughs> I, I, I really did used to think that, but never, never kind of continued to make the, the connection between the fact that that had actually become a habit and neither had I made any effort to actually go out and look around and see whether there were other foods that I might enjoy more or might even be more healthy for me. Actually, you probably don't realize this, but meat, your eating meat is a habit, a habit that's formed over many years. And one of the, the greatest barriers to not changing, to not going vegan is habit. There are actually four reasons. One we talked about in a previous video, tradition, habit that we're talking about today. And then there's also the two reasons for convenience uh, and, and taste. But I think habit is actually a really, really strong force against us making any change in life, in particular with food. So making the switch, improving your life, getting more healthy, more virile, more respect, more peace and calm inside of you, more alignment with the universe, means that you're going to have to break the habits that you've had until now. And since this course is for people of my age, or around our age, then that's just fairly deep. <laughs> it's, you know, fairly deep ingrained. So um, later I'm going to speak about um, one of the one of the secrets, the one one of the most amazing things that helped me change was actually um, to do with habit change. But that's a whole different topic, and I and I and I want to speak about that as part of the course that I'll be offering as as well, um, because this was actually the secret to being able to being able to make the change easily and switch from being a meat eater, a normal, regular meat eating dairy eating guy to what I am now a um I've been now vegan for four years I only eat plants plant-based I'm healthy it's the first thing in the morning here and I was out of bread sprang out of bed with energy to come and make this video so yeah so it's given me a lot of energy and, and so on um if you think about habits most habits the ones that are hardest to kick are the most addictive. And if you think about the, the struggles that people have giving up cigarettes, why? Because it's a habit, yes, but it's also addictive. If you think about alcoholics, it's the same thing. They, they enjoy a drink, 
but they get addicted to the alcohol and then they can't give it up and I and I think that actually meat and dairy is is a habit but it's also a little bit like an addiction and people are in denial you know you you uh, nobody ever considers the fact that they might be addicted to to food that they might be addicted to certain kinds of food because it's so normal because everybody eats meat fish and dairy nobody considers that actually they might be addicted to it if if you think about um if you if you said to most people could you give up apples if <laughs> most people would say yes i could give up apples fairly easily bananas sure lettuce of course but when it comes to meat and cheese most people couldn't give up or wouldn't want to give up that because in a way it's an addiction it's it's a habit to eat those things but in a way these products are also addictive so um, and as with all addictions mostly the thing that you are addicted to is not doing you any good you know so um, whether it's um, cigarettes alcohol drugs cannabis heroin whatever these things are very difficult to give up and I believe as well it's the same with me I think that we as a society in the West are all addicted um, to me um, but the good news is these habits can be broken so so what happened with me is I wanted to go vegan I decided this was going to be my change and I'd set off on my course to do it I got back home from the holiday in Gomera that I'd been on with my daughter and I cleared out the fridge and went to the supermarket and bought all these new products and uh, but a little bit I, I didn't know what I was doing and what I noticed was that most products that I'd been eating until switching to go vegan um, actually contain meat or cheese so it, it was difficult for me in the supermarket um, after only a few weeks what I noticed was is that I was starting to become like a junk food vegan so I'd be going to the I'd be going to the health food shop and buying you know vegan sausages vegan hamburgers vegan cheese all these things to kind of replace the meat that that, that I'd, I'd, I'd you know been cutting out of my diet I was I didn't have a plan at all I didn't know what to eat I didn't know what was nutritious I didn't know which foods contain protein I didn't know which foods contain fiber I, I really had no plan I was a little bit aimless and it was actually it was actually when I started to go deep into the research and um, found out exactly what I should be eating and what I shouldn't be eating that I was able to begin to turn the corner but it wasn't just that as well at the same time as finding out which nutrition which things I needed to be eating I was also doing a lot of work on finding out how to create habit change because I, I also knew that unless I was able to change my old habits anything I found out about nutrition and so on wouldn't go very far because this was a powerful thing but what I discovered was it's actually far far easier than you think and once you once you have these once you have the, the the knowledge once you know exactly what you should be eating how to prepare things when to prepare things uh, and and how to change the habits of a lifetime then actually becoming vegan becomes fairly straightforward and simple and if you speak to most vegans uh, I just had a little conversation with a with a vegan the other day on on Facebook and she told me that her main concern so the main reason she didn't want to go vegan was because she thought it was too complicated that you know all of her meals just like mine had been based around meat and she couldn't imagine she thought that breaking that habit would be very difficult but actually once she got started down the road and had a plan like I did then actually she said it was a lot lot easier than she thought and of course ask any vegan who who's who's made the change and they'll tell you that it's the most wonderful thing you can ever do the, the feelings that you have inside and that's also a thing about it it is a big change I mean I don't want to lie about it you know changing the habit of a lifetime is not something that 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 
it's you could say it's, it's not done in an instant you have to put some effort to it into it but that's also a wonderful thing because it also boosts the way you feel about yourself if you've got the the confidence to go out and actually change for the better in such a fundamental way makes you feel good about yourself and gives you some um it gives you a, a more self-confident you feel uh proud and and other people see that as well and you know as mentioned in all the other videos we need to really do something to prevent the climate change cruelty to animals and our own health so yeah that was my take on habit what i basically as a summary want to say is that eating meat and cheese and dairy and chicken and fish and all the other things it's it's a combination between a habit and an addiction you are i'm afraid addicted to me I'm, i i i don't like to break it to you but this is the truth you're addicted to it and you've got a habit of eating it and these two things are probably the main factors in 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 perhaps you not wanting or being a little bit apprehensive about going down the path that i went down but you can do it so thank you for listening so early in the morning for me um if you liked it please give me a like if you didn't like it give me a thumbs down um any comments you could you could could give me would help me if, if you notice something i could be doing to make these videos more interesting or better please uh, add it in a comment and uh, yeah uh, tomorrow i look forward to doing a video on convenience so thank you very much bye bye